global economy has moved away from the edge of the cliff, with short-term prospects clearly improving compared to the situation at the end of last year. North America is looking stronger, with indicators for Canada and the United States suggesting firm growth during each of the coming two quarters. Activity in Japan will remain volatile, with a rebound in growth expected in the first quarter and a moderation in the second. The situation for the three largest Euro area countries, Germany, France and Italy, is expected to remain fragile, with negative growth in the first quarter and a moderate improvement in the second. Europe and the United States appear to be diverging. Consumer confidence is strengthening in the US, but remains low in the Euro area. Unemployment remains stubbornly high and climbing in Europe, but is falling in the US. And bank lending is also moving in different directions, with credit to firms recovering strongly in the US, in contrast to Europe, where credit growth is starting to weaken once again. Substantial risks remain in the euro area. Confidence is low, yields remain high, and, and lending activity has weakened recently. So, in spite of positive action from the ECB, more needs to be done to boost growth and sustain the recovery. Beyond Europe, other risks have emerged. Rising oil prices pose a threat to the recovery. Emerging markets, which have been the engine of the world economy for years, are also showing signs of slowing activity. World trade growth remains muted, bearing witness to the moderation of activity in key emerging countries. The global outlook is still largely dependent on policy action. In the US, the fiscal deadlock must be addressed. In the euro area, the firewall must be significantly strengthened. Banks need to be recapitalized. Underlying imbalances must be addressed through structural policies to boost growth. We have walked away from the cliff, but more needs to be done.